Hello, Hi. Barbara. Hi. Hi, I'm Wayne Downing. It's nice to meet you. Talk to you on the phone. <laughs> the guy with the great voice. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. You did say that. Uh -huh. Well, here's what we got. <clears throat> that's right. Here's a chronic nuisance notification. Get my okay. Do you want to step in? Sure. Um, like just to let you know, I record my video and audio everywhere I go. Yeah. Um, I don't care. We've got to notify everybody. So. I don't have any secrets. How you doing, sir? I'm Wayne Downing. Nice to meet you. How do you do, Wayne? I'm Pretty Tom good. Riley. And you're being recorded. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Like I discussed with your wife, um, this is a chronic nuisance notification. Basically, what I need from you guys is a response within, with writing, um, something that says what your plan is, what your what your objective is. That oh, give me that right now. I know you've already told me and everything. Yeah. I just need something in writing. You could drop it off at the cop shop. Okay. Do you know where that's at? Yep. You could drop it off there. Just write my I'm name on an envelope. Right? Yep. And they'll put it in my box, and I'll get it. Just let me know when you do it. Yeah. Okay. Well, we already put the notice on for the 48 hours notice that we have to have access. Now, uh, am I doing I, the right thing by giving him? I think you are. Notice. Okay, you can. I 48 hour notice to inspect. Right. Is what that is. I'm pretty sure you're doing the right thing there, but you also want to talk to your attorney that you use with your properties to give you better direction on what the legal process is okay. for that. Okay. <clears throat> I know that you're required to give a 48 hour notice. Right. Whether it's posted or he actually has to have it. I don't know. I think it's sufficient enough if you leave it on his front door and he's still living there. Unless for some reason he's unable to get back to the place. Like if he's in the hospital or in jail, he's not in jail. But uh, Oh, you checked that already? Yeah. Okay. So I wondered if he might possibly be in jail. So talk to your attorney. Let him know that I gave you this. Okay. And this right here is very easy okay. to evict. It gives you muscle, like I told you, to oh. go in there and say, listen, the police have responded over 20 times in the last six months. Here's well, just a handful. Respond, but they got called. <laughs> well, they've gotten calls. And yeah. That's a response. It, oh, even oh. It, if there's not a police officer on scene, it's still a response. It's still something we have to look at mm -hmm. and see what's happening here. What kind of effect is it having on the neighbors? Is it a nuisance? Well, absolutely. Just the ones I notated here on uh, 617, we have noise, 619 noise, 619 noise. So two noise calls in one day. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, that's a duplicate. I'm sorry. So mm -hmm. one, one noise call that day. Um, 723, there's a noise. Um, on 916, there's a fight slash noise. Yeah, um, domestic violence, supposedly. Yeah. They reported it. Is. But they, no one said anything happened when we got there. So police didn't That's right. I that went one. I went over there that Where, day okay. and visited with the police that day. Um, and then on October 24th, suspicious drug activity. So Ooh. there's stuff. Ooh. there's stuff going on, you know, I mean, whether it's, is it extreme worst case neighborhood issue? No, but mm -hmm. you guys as landowners are being affected by this. The community is being affected by it, sure. <laughs> um, and we're being affected by it. Yeah. So, with that being said, this guy's got to go. <laughs> if housing doesn't care and they're not paying, he's not paying you. That is also yeah, separate from this. If he's not paying, that's mm -hmm. an easy eviction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. This right here, in addition to that, that's an easy eviction. Okay. So I think you guys are good. I just take this. Um, if you would just write me, it could be just a one sentence letter saying, <clears throat> I, the owner, Mr. or Mrs., um, uh, plan on abating this issue by no less than eviction. It could oh. be that simple. Oh, okay. Um, that process is in the works. We are seeking out an attorney's advice. Yeah. So it could be that. And then I could put it in my file, and then I'll revisit with you guys. But I say December 8th. I'll give you a call and see where we are. Okay. If it, and if they're evicted before that, you got my number. Yeah. Give me a call. I'll let just, you know. Just let me know. Then. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll be seeing the attorney Monday or calling him anyway. Yeah. Else. And um, I don't think I see him. He might be in court. Yeah. <laughs> Evicting. Well, and if, if it happens before I call you on the 8th, um, yeah. just give me a call and I'll put it to bed. Yeah. So um, we, have, we have how much time to respond to this? 10 days. It's 10 days. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, so we can do it Monday afternoon. Sure. Or yeah. Are we and, and, you know, at 10 days, that's... Because once we talk to the attorney, we know exactly what you're to do. That is a soft 10 days. You know, if you guys can't get to it, just no, we'll just give me a call today. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, some some landlords aren't as willing to work really? on this issue. Oh, yeah, we have people that don't care. Um, but as a landowner, you are a part of that community, whether you live... Sure we you are. You know, six miles north of there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I tell every landlord that. You are a part of this community. You are responsible 
just like anybody that lives there is. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Well, we have a really strict criteria sheet when we when we put a place up for rent. I mean, they really. They, I mean, we even said at one time we would barely qualify on the credit rate ratio, but that's because we want to make sure that we get people who are responsible. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and we're real careful. So do you do a credit check when you have tenants moving? Oh, yeah. 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 That's we, great. I mean, yeah, that shows a lot of past every credit practice, check, past patterns. And criteria. I try to go to visit them. Check. Yeah. We, I try to go visit where they live mm -hmm. to see how they live, you know. Yeah. We've got 14 cats running around. They say, no, we don't have any pets. Then I think, okay, <coughs> one girl we came really close to running to based on, um, she was recommended, you know. We went over to see where she'd been living, and a dog, her dog, she said she didn't have a pet. Her dog had dug a hole of probably, I don't know, maybe three feet deep oh, with geez. a Great Dane in the yard. And we peeked in the window, it was trash. You could see that the dog did yeah. all this damage to the place. I mean, we're really careful, you know. Mm -hmm. But like I said, the, you know, you do the right thing, but the first time you ask for some help, you can't get it. Nobody right. cares. Like housing, I thought, it says right in their contract that they purpose a uh, reason for eviction is if they have more than the people stated on the contract. Mm -hmm. I went down to tell them, this is what they told me. I put this in the middle memory bank. They said, well, I said, how do, they said, we have to prove that they have people living with you. I said, how do I legally do that? Oh, you just have to notify the post office, and they can tell you if anybody's receiving mail at that address. I went to the post office where the mail was supposed to be delivered from, and the first man said, oh, we'll take care of it for you. He called me within 30 minutes and he can't do that. Hmm. He said, we can't do that for privacy reasons. The mailman can't tell us if he's delivering mail there because it's for privacy reasons. Yeah, see, and you and I talked about this. You, what do you do then? You have less rights than the tenant. Yeah. And, and that's the way our laws are written and case law, but it's going to get worse before it gets any better. Yeah. I think it'll get better eventually once the courts swing a little bit more towards the favor of the people that are yeah, trying right. to make the communities better and have decent businesses and rental property and stuff like that. But you, you have these people that just don't care. And yeah. they've been taking care of their entire life. And, yeah, you are. And, and, and they don't know how to um, have care or, or um, you know, any kind of respect for anything they have. You know, I mean, you and I, we own our houses, whatever. We appreciate it. We want our house to look nice. We want it to, <clears throat> if the sink, if the faucet breaks, we want it to fix, fix it. it. Yeah. You know, yeah. and and you were concerned about your luggage being out. You know, yeah. just, the people that don't have that and never have don't care. You know, they'll let their dog dig yeah, a three foot hole. We can sit here and talk about that for hours. Yeah. You know, and, and but that's part of it. Yeah, yeah. It, it is. See but there are good tenants out there. I, I rent it. My wife and I rent it. When we were young, for you know several years, sure. and we no we way. always joked uh, that the houses are better when we left than they were when we yeah. came and in. Me you know, when I rented. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. When I left yeah. I moved in. I mean, I That's just the way sure. we were brought up, though. Yeah. You know, and yeah. so yeah. it's it's tough. Yeah. But uh, that, there it is. Um, I, I appreciate a call, and I <clears throat> I apologize for the the uh, printer paper. It's the one out of our car because I printed it up and signed it. And then I, halfway up here, I realized it left on my desk. <laughs> on my so desk. I had to print it up in my car. That's all right. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's there. Right. All right. Okay. All right. Well, have a great weekend. Nice, nice meeting you. Yeah. Nice Thank meeting you, man. Take care. Sorry, had to come out to the house. Oh no, 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 no worries. I, I, uh, it's not a big deal at all. Okay, don't worry about the right. South Hill now. No, I live out in the valley, but it's, oh. it's quitting time. I'm heading home now. So okay. Thank Thank you so have a good weekend. Yep, no problem. All right.